Members of our community are taking matters into their own hands to make their neighborhoods a better place. And they are joining us now is Mac Farr from Strong Towns, Detroit. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for having me. So if you could just tell us a little bit about the organization and the vision that you have, what you're trying to do. Yeah. So Strong Towns Detroit is really looking to do two things. The first is we're looking to improve our communities by focusing on really sort of small bore projects like sidewalk cleanups and truck routes in order to make neighborhoods in Detroit and in the suburbs better for residents to live in. Now I notice Strong Towns is on the ground all across the country. What is it about Detroit, about the Motor City that attracted the group here? Well, it's, you know, the thing about Strong Towns that's really sort of interesting is these are conversations that have been bubbling up in a lot of different places across the country, and they all seem to be percolating at about the same time. So, you know, when we talk about things like sustainability, when we talk about things like infrastructure, I can't think of a more appropriate place to discuss them than somewhere like Detroit, where, you know, we've seen a lot of really unsustainable practices over the course of the past few decades. And you talk about infrastructure, um, you know, Detroit has a lot of infrastructure. We have a lot of really bad infrastructure and we have billions of dollars worth of infrastructure work that we need to do over the course of the coming decades. Detroit is by most accounts on a comeback. A lot of people really celebrating the successes of the city as a whole. Uh, what do you think it does to have these neighborhoods in such a strong state and bouncing back as well? Well, I think that the recovery in Detroit is really sort of divided. You have some neighborhoods in Detroit that are doing really, really well, and then you have others that are being left behind. And I think that if you look at it through the lens of how we can do better, you know, it almost becomes like the question that we should be asking ourselves is, why did they get that bad to begin with? And a lot of it boils down to infrastructure and services. So. Here in Michigan, we've been talking a lot recently about fixing our roads. And nobody ever really stops to ask, do we have too many roads to begin with? Mm -hmm. Another example is, if you looked at the population of Southeast Michigan in 1970, it was about the same as it is today. It's just under 5 million. But if you look at where people live, we've basically quadrupled our surface area in Southeast Michigan. And when you quadruple the amount of area that you're living in, you're quadrupling the costs. So we haven't really done anything to the tax base. We still have the same number of people, about the same amount of resources, but we've quadrupled our operating costs. So what Strong Town seeks to do, not only in terms of making neighborhoods better, but we also want to start a really critical conversation about how we develop land in Michigan, because we just keep on you know, plowing under cornfields and cutting down forests to put in more beige subdivisions along the side along the side of the highway. Yeah, you have an interesting background experience in local politics. Do you think that helped you see some things that maybe others weren't seeing? Look through a special lens at the needs. Yeah, I mean, I've lived in Detroit now for about 12 years, and I worked for the city momentarily years ago, and so I am a little bit more of a subject matter expert on some things, but you know. Some of the stuff that we want to work on for Strong Towns Detroit has to do with like, why is it that our sidewalks don't look great? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're having a sidewalk cleanup this coming week where, you know, by banding together with residents, we will help them have better sidewalks and, you know, just giving people that vision that the sidewalks can look nice, they can look tidy. It'll actually help get more people involved. Speaking of, before we let you go, how can people get involved with the group and what you're doing? Yeah, so you can check us out at strongdetroit.org or you can follow Strong Towns Detroit on Facebook. We have updates regarding meetings, events that we're planning, and other policy initiatives that we have in the works. Mac Farr from Strong Towns Detroit, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.